Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Masters of the Universe Classics Drag Store. That's right, it is the final member of the Evil Horde from the Vintage Toy Line, the only figure we had yet to see made in Classics form. So let's go ahead and check him out. As you can see, he comes in that same style Masters of the Universe Classics blister card packaging, fully showcasing the figure within, though it's worth noting that the Evil Horde sticker is missing, at least on mine. And when you rotate this around to the back side, we get a look at other figures in the Classics line, and down below that, we get a bio for Drag Store. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at this figure outside of the packaging. Dragstore is one of those characters that came towards the end of the line, and he had a very unique look uh, compared to a lot of the other figures. He was one of those tragic characters that was sort of made as an experiment from Hordak, much like Mosquitoor before him. Um, and he utilized a really wacky gimmick in the old line where he had a tire embedded in his stomach, and then he had one of those zip cord features that allowed him to basically roll across the floor on his stomach. Uh, as such, he had a unique body, so he didn't have the same body that most of the figures had in the Masters of the Universe line. Uh, so it was always going to be interesting to see how Mattel tackled this particular figure in Classics. Now, uh, it's kind of been the mantra through most of the line that action features don't exist, except for when they do. <laughs> we've already seen instances in these videos where we've seen the laser figures get light-up features, and we've seen some of the other characters who probably needed to have action features get them. But at the same token, we've had some that should have had action features that were skipped over. Like Mosquito. And unfortunately, the same thing has happened here with Drag Store. So let's go ahead and take a look at the sculpt here, and we'll talk about all that as we get to it. Now, as far as the overall look goes, I think the Four Horsemen did a great job of taking the look of that classic Drag Store action figure and translating it into Classics form. Uh, all of the craziness and the details that were seen in that classic figure have been brought to life very nicely in this new figure. Now, it does utilize that standard male buck, um, but he's got a new armor piece that is laid over that to kind of make it look like the mechanics and everything that we saw on that vintage figure. And I think that's pretty clever for the most part. So the armor piece seems like it works just like with all the other classics figures that have had similar armor. You can see that we can detach it right there. And it's just sitting over the regular body. Um, and I will say that I do like the way that it's cut out a little bit. So it's not too bulky looking. It's actually quite slim. Um, the only places it might be a little bulky are the straps coming around. But it's okay. It seems to work fine with the design. And you'll notice on the back we've got this really great engine-like backpack. Which was seen on the vintage figure. And I do really love both the sculpt and the paint deck on this because it's got this really great kind of gunmetal look to it so it has a bit of a metallic shine and then the back sculpt of the uh, loincloth piece has got the bottom part of the engine which I thought was pretty clever you can see it's a separate piece uh, so it still allows for the waist to be turned on this figure something that we didn't have on the vintage figure now part of that is because the wheel is not a real wheel on this figure uh, it is part of the sculpt on there with this armor piece, you can see how we can kind of lift that up and you can't see the wheel underneath. Now I will say that the wheel is sculpted very nicely. They've even added some details like the treads. There were no treads on the vintage one. And it actually has a really nice 3D effect where it does look like an actual wheel. But it's not, so you can't spin it or anything like that, which means no action feature. It's completely lacking. So. On one hand, I think this is very clever. I think it turned out really well, and it does seem to capture the overall look of Drag Store. On the other hand, I kind of miss having that wheel. I feel like a wheel could have been embedded just for us to spin, didn't really need the zip, la zip line or pull zip uh, action feature, and it still would have been fine. So, I don't know, kind of maybe add this to the column of figures that probably should have had the action feature, just to kind of keep the overall look intact. I'll also note that they still added the little port on the side of the tire there where you would put in the little zip pull <laughs> from the vintage figures. So kind of fun. We've seen that done a few times in this line. Uh, he's got the great little uh, silver kind of wires there sticking out. Uh, the paint on that is real shiny kind of silver. I will say it's a little sloppy. You can see it's not clean in some areas. Um, but for the most part, I do like the colors there. we got that evil horde emblem right there. And then we've got the head sculpt, which is very, very cool and very unique on this guy. Uh, he's got like this helmet helmet on basically with the little kind of uh gas mask type thing going on there uh, i love the details on the face i think that's a little more detailed than we saw in the vintage figure he has a bit of a reptilian look
look to him, which is very interesting. I really like that. Has this great gray face with these bright orange snake-like eyes sticking out. Uh, almost looks like he could possibly be a Snake Man type character or some other type of reptile. So pretty interesting all around. So I do really like the design of the guy. I think he turned out really well. Uh, they've done a great job of capturing what was a very wacky look in the vintage figure and updating it fairly decently for classics. So let's go and talk articulation on this guy. It's very basic since he's just a standard buck that heads on a ball joint. So you can move left, right, roll it around and move it slightly up and down. You got the ball joints at the shoulders. So the arms can go outwards, forwards and backwards. You can also swivel at the bicep, standard joint at the elbow and your swivels at the wrist. Uh, the ab crunch is a little hindered because of this piece on the armor here, but you can still swivel the waist side to side. We do have those ball like joints at the thigh. So legs can go outwards, forwards, backwards, swivels at the thigh, standard joints at the knee. Uh, we have swivels at the boot cut there. I love these boots, by the way. Uh, no ankle pins showing. And we do have these standard joints at the ankles. Uh, a little loose on mine, but not bad. Not to worry he's falling over or anything like that. So that's pretty good. So while we were talking about the articulation, the vintage figure obviously would lay down on his stomach so that he could do the ripcord feature so that he would fly away or drive away, speed off, kind of do like a bowling thing basically where you tackle the good guys. Um, so obviously we want to lay this guy down, right, to get him in that pose. So you can do it if you want to do the, the classic drag store pose there. He just kind of lays down on his belly. It would have been kind of cool if we had the, an extra articulation point to be able to move his head looking forwards. Not something I was really expecting because we haven't really had joints like that in this line but if they went a little extra step and added that to this guy so we can pose him like this and have it where he's looking forward that would have been pretty cool all right, so let's go ahead and talk accessories. Dragstore comes with two of them. Uh, the first one I'm showing you guys here is actually a very unique accessory. It, we all know by now that the members of the Evil Horde all have crossbows, except for Mosquito for some reason. Um, but one of the things that's really cool is the figures that didn't get crossbows in the vintage line, the horsemen have been coming up with these really cool, unique designs and giving them Horde crossbows. So Dragstore's got this brand new crossbow that has this really neat engine look to it. And you can see it's the same silver color as the engine on his back. Just has a handle on there. You can hold it. He can hold onto it in either one of his hands. And it's just a really cool looking weapon. I thought that was a really fun pack in with this guy. His second accessory is a bit of a fun nod to the vintage figure. I keep talking about like the, the rip cord that was used. Uh, very similar to what we saw with Blast Attack where his plunger was turned into a whip. The same thing has been done with Drag Store's rip cord. So you can see the way it's sculpted here to kind of look like the rip cord that plugged into the figure. Uh, but the, again, it's been turned into another whip-like weapon with sort of a blade on the end of it. Now, unlike uh, Blast Attacks, which was very rubbery and soft, this one is hard plastic and it's molded in place. Uh, he can hold it in either one of his hands. He does seem to get a better grip on it with the right hand, uh, but because the way it's molded, there's limited ways you can actually pose it. But still, kind of a fun little pack-in. It's a neat way to give Drag Store a couple accessories that he didn't really have in the past. Alright guys, it's comparison time. Here's a look at the brand new drag store action figure standing alongside his vintage counterpart, where you can really see how they stuck pretty true to the overall design of the guy. So there you go, my friends. There is a look at the Masters of the Universe Classics Drag Store action figure. Overall, I do think he's a very nice looking figure. I love the accessories. I think they're a lot of fun, especially that Horde crossbow. And overall, I think he's a very fun looking character. Now, yes, I kind of wish he had the wheel in there, but maybe that's just my personal preference. Uh, maybe you're totally fine with the way this works. And I will say that the overall sculpt of the armor is still very clever and he looks pretty good. The other cool thing about Dragstore, of course, is that he completes our evil horde lineup, at least the original uh, lineup from the old toy line. And it's pretty sweet seeing our huge evil horde now displayed on our shelves. So Drag Store was released in November, part of the Club Eternia subscription, and he's currently sold out on MattyCollector.com. So if you're after him, you're going to have to find other means, other online stores that might be carrying him. So happy hunting, my friends! And until next time. And hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you never miss out on any of my videos. Take care, my friends.
Hi. 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 What you doing? Pictures? Let me help you get a good shot. Oh, there we go. Oh, you want it down? Okay. Artist. Artist at work.